No, we, we'll do that last. Officer screening. Okay. Um, let me just go back here. Change this to public. When I hit publish, we're live. No. I don't want to get a copy strike. Whether the weather be cold or whether the weather be hot, whatever the weather, no matter the weather, whether you like it or not. There you go. What up, guys? My name is John M441, and we're doing another PC build today. We're doing it for my good friend John, who's in the background. He doesn't want to be seen. He doesn't want to get shot. <laughs> but, so we're going to go over the parts today. First of all, the one, the only, we have the MSI GTX 1650 Super. It's actually one of the cards I have in my PC builds. And, uh, yeah, this is a great card. Great for mid-range gaming. Excellent. Um, for the RAM, we of course, we went the uh, G-Skill rip, rip Jaws at 3,600 megahertz. We have 16 gigs, 3,600 megahertz, which is excellent. For the motherboard, we went the Gigabyte B450 um, Azeroth Pro Wi-Fi Edition. So this is going to be a great motherboard for gaming and everything i think it does have some rgb in it i don't know i'm not sure but further ado we also got the crucial 500 gigabyte ssd m.2 mdm4 we have a two terabyte yeah we got two terabyte seagate barracuda hard drive which is by far the best bank for your money for a hard drive uh, this is what i use I've, what I've used in my other PC builds, excellent one. Power supply, we got the Thermal Take Smart 500 watts, white plus, 80 plus. So it's gonna do the job, plenty of power to power the supply. And for the main components, which we had a little bit of problem with this one, won't go into details later, but this is the Ryzen 3 3200G. Um, it has integrated graphics into the chip. So technically you don't need the GPU, but if you want to get the high performance and better FPS for the games, GPU is all the way better. Uh, but yeah, great starting off CPU. It's gonna be perfect for what he needs. Um, so yeah, and then for our chassis, we have a uh, Montec case that we picked up on a reasonable price on Amazon. So I never built in this case before, but um, it's gonna be fun. Oh yeah, it has four RGB fans and everything, but it's gonna be fun. Hope you all enjoy it. So further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in. And uh, yeah, so when we clear all this out and then jump right into the motherboard, and the CPU and start building this thing. How about we do it? All right, you ready? We're gonna be taking everything apart. We need this. We don't need this yet. We're gonna need this, 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 and this. We're just gonna put the case down right here.
something to put a message. All right, um, so first thing you want to do, we're going to bring out the motherboard, which is, ooh, yeah. All right. So, in the motherboard box, you do have the motherboard, it comes with the motherboard. Like always, hopefully. Sometimes things don't come in packages. <laughs> Second, we're going to need the Wi Fi adapter in your motherboard. We're going to need the SATA ports. You're going to need your M.2 screw that we will be using in just a minute. Comes with your manual, which we're going to be needing that. And, um,. Don't know what that is. Your M.2 screw. And just in case, it does come with two M.2s. So, but we're only using one M.2 slot. So we're just gonna keep these in here for right now. Okay. So how's everyone doing today? Hope you're having an awesome day. Yo, hi, I'm a bot. All right. Mm, this is the best part on doing these. What's that? I know. All right, so when we put the stuff in, we're gonna have the camera over here. All right. So, here is the motherboard. So one thing cool about this motherboard, um, it does have two heat sinks on your M.2s, so that's going to be perfect for keeping it nice and cool on that side. You, and also, big plus, it comes in with a built-in I.O. shield, so we don't have to worry about putting it in the, in the case. Sometimes that's a pain in the butt, but here's the motherboard, which is going to be nice and crisp and clean. So. Let's go ahead. First thing we're going to do, let's just, we're just going to peel this off and get all the plastic on. stuff off. I love it when it's peeled off. All right. As you can see, here is the uh, the CPU socket, which we're going to be installing the CPU. Right over here, you have your RAM slots. We have four channels. So if you have four DIMM slots, four RAM, you're going to put in each one. If you have one, you're going to put in the first one. Two, will occupy channel two and four. So it goes A1, B1, A2, B2. So dual channel always goes B1, B2. So we'll be doing that. And then over here, you have your first M.2 slot, which we're gonna be occupying this. And then we have a second one right here, um, which we're not gonna be using because we have um, the two terabyte hard drive. Um, but yeah, and then you have your 24 pin for the power, your CPU power up here, and then just your basic HD auto, HD audio, um, USB, USB 3, and so and so and so and so. So, further ado, let's go ahead and get the CPU out. Oh, yeah. Ready? See, this is how you open a box like this. Not like that, but like that. Oh, that looks 
clean. Not like, you know, you just want, you don't want to rip it open and just yank it out and grab stuff. Like a smash and grab? Like a smash and grab. <laughs> exactly. So here is the CPU. Like I said before, this is the Ryzen 3 3200G. This is an excellent four core, four thread processor. It's gonna be great for what we need. And this right here, it does come with the certificate of authenticity. So what we got is real, not fake, nothing like that. This is 100% legit and real. And of course, what we're gonna be using it to cool is this all in reliable, the AMD stock cooler, which is by far one of the best stock coolers that AMD does. Um, AMD does a really good job on whatever CPU that you're using. Their stock coolers are up to par. It's not like Intel where Intel's stock coolers, sometimes they don't even have it or it just doesn't really work that well. Okay. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here, what I always like to do, um, so for this stock cooler, we want to make sure we take out the, the brackets. So you have two brackets right here, and you wanna make sure you take these out because we're not gonna be needing them. And always, always, when you're doing everything, screwing, always cross, unscrew everything and screwing in, especially on a PC part. You never want to apply too much pressure on one side. But we won't need these brackets because we're doing the stock cooler. Now, if you had any other brackets or any other cooler, sometimes it, you keep them in there. Good idea to always save them for later. Yeah. If we. Okay. These are gone, and they just simply, voila. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is install the CPU. So, to install the CPU, you have this little bracket right here. All you want to do is just lift it up. Just like that. Okay, then you grab your handy dandy CPU. Now, what you don't want to do, you don't want to get it. You don't want to lick it. You don't want to use it as a brush. I know these pens are like, oh yeah, I can brush my beard or brush my hair with it. No, don't do that. You will break it. So, also, you want to grab it from the sides. Don't grab it from the bottom. Don't grab it underneath, anything like that. You want to grab it from the sides. And if you look really carefully, let's see if I can show you. Focus, it's kind of be hard to focus. But right here on the bottom, you'll have a gold arrow. And that little gold arrow will line up with this arrow right here. And all you do is just take it out of the box Pick it up and drop it. See, it's gonna line up the arrows like this, and it's simply just drop it in, let it in place. You can give it a little slight wiggle. Once you're done with that, just close it down, and your CPU is installed. The very first step is complete. All right. Once we're done with that, we're gonna say, yay, we have a CPU installed. And congratulations, you just installed your first ever CPU. Sorry about my kids. Kids, right? What are you gonna do? All right, so next thing we're gonna do, um, we're gonna go ahead and install the stock cooler. So we're just gonna rip open this like 
We want to do anything. Yeah. So on almost all um, stock coolers, everything comes pre-applied with, ther with thermal paste. And uh, yeah, so make sure you want to do it too. You want to have the AMD. I don't know why, but it's always supposed to be facing this way. So that's how we're going to install it. And these four screws just line up on the four screws right here. That's why we need the brackets off. And we're just going to simply install it and everything. Before that, I am going to try and a little bit hide the, the thing right there. And then you just want to see the CPU fan right here. This is where we're going to install the CPU fan for that. But first, we're going to go ahead and screw it in. So you just want to line it up. That fits in there. And then we're going to go ahead and start screwing it in. Now this does require just a little bit of pressure, but don't worry, don't feel like you're you're gonna break it. Once you start feeling that little tension right there, you just wanna stop and go to the next one. And the nozzle tension? That's when it starts giving in saying that. Because there's spring here. Yeah, there's spring. And you're gonna have to press down just a little bit. Go on the next one. Start fix and the last one just right here. And I just like to go back and make sure it's nice and cozy there we go there we go perfect and then one more perfect now all you have to left to do you get your cpu fan and you just plug it in like so and there you go your cpu fan is now installed congratulations we did it now next thing we're going to do is uh fill in the ram so for the ram like i said we got the g skill rip jaws 3600 megahertz at 16 gigs of ram dual channel it does come with little stickers and everything but we don't really need that wants to ram now I know it's called ram but what you don't want to do is ram it in there okay I'm gonna show you how to put it in there so it's just nice and snug you're just not ramming it in okay so here are here's the ram right here what you want to do first is push back these latches okay And that opens it up now if you look carefully right here on the ram okay you have this little notch right here you're gonna line this notch up with the notch on the ram and all you're gonna do is just line it up put it in and you want to apply even pressure until it clicks in like so and that's it and then same thing rinse and repeat line it up slide it in even pressure locked in your rams installed just like that boom now last thing we're going to do before we start putting this 
into the mother case, uh, the, the motherboard inside the case, we're going to install our M.2. Uh, this is, I think I have this one, uh, but I had also put this one in my father-in-law's computer and he absolutely loves it. It's super fast. It's NVMe M.2 solid state drive at 500 gigabytes. So it's going to be plenty enough to put your operating system in, put games, whatever you need to do with it. It's going to be perfect for what he needs and what pretty much anyone that's starting off needs. Now, if you haven't noticed, these things are absolutely tiny. I mean, just look how tiny that is. I mean, it's the size of my finger and I'm not even joking. It's literally about the size of a finger. So first thing what we're going to do is actually we need to take off the heat seat plank, uh, plate for the uh, M.2. So we're just going to take this and uh, not lose that because we kind of need that. And with this board too, also, it's already pre-installed, but if you notice, we don't need so of course our m.2 is not going to reach all the way over there okay so once we plug it in it's not going to reach so we need to put out the screws and screw it in so i'm going to show you how to do that right now so like i said before you want to grab these screws you have a tiny little screw right there you screw right here this is what you're going to need. This is a nice looking board too. You got pump up audio. Quiet girls, okay? Okay, so we're going to install it right here. All you're gonna do is screw this in. Screw this pipe so. Just like that. Alright, now for the M.2. All you literally do, it's, it's kind of like a like ram you just want to find the notch and then kind of just push it in until it goes into like a springboard effect like so once you hear that click it's going to start springing that's when you know it's installed and all you do is grab your m.2 screw right here and you're going to screw this in So, take your M dot screw. You're gonna push this down, and you don't want to lose it because that'll be bad. I mean, these screws are tiny, tiny, tiny. Run away from this Abigail. Abigail. Yeah. Quiet. And just you're just gonna literally screw it in right here, like so. Now your M.2 is installed. All we're gonna do is put in the heat sink plate. So we're gonna peel off a nice, beautiful, just like so. And we're just gonna plug this back in.
All right. Your M.2 is installed. We have the RAM installed, the CPU, the CPU fan. Everything's ready to go. We're going to go ahead and put this inside of the case. And, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do next. So, let's go ahead and do that. They're gonna be best friends because they're both freaking loud. <laughs> Girl. Looking good. I like it. Alright. Next, what we're gonna do is bring out the case. Like I said before, this case is a, Mon a Montec case. Um, it does have three RGB fans in the front, one in the back, all 200, uh, 120 um, milliliters. No, milliliters. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've never worked with this case before, so I don't know what the cam cable management's going to be like or anything like that. So this is going to be the first time we're going to be doing that. So let's go ahead and first dive in. So first what we're going to do, we're going to take off the tempered glass. It does have tempered glass, so... That is a huge plus. Some have acrylic. I don't really like acrylic. So just make sure you get tempered glass. Always oh, great to showcase what you're offering. Right. It does have some, some screws. Sometimes it just comes tight at first. So you can just use it like that. And I like to save the peel for last just because. I don't know, it's more satisfying after you finish building it, you power it on, and you just take this and you just go in slow motion. Woo! Oh, baby. All right. Got on the top. So, I'm going to put motherboard everything aside we're gonna go ahead and crack open the back plate for this so the back plate also has two thumb screws which is on pretty tight just loosen them up a little bit because we're going to need to do some cable management i know some of y'all have seen like my other previous one and everything but yeah. Oh, hey, what's up, Dr. Zombie Killer? How you doing, man? Thanks for coming around. All right, so these are all the thumb screws. Who else do we have? I can't see. I don't have my thing. Hazard 2020. Hazard 2020. Sorry. Hi, how you doing, man? Sorry if I butchered your name. Sorry, yeah. Sorry. Also, this PC does come with a dust filter up top. You do have additional room um, to put in to... Um, extra fans or if you want to do a cooler you can also do that as well um, so we're gonna go ahead and take the side panel off what do you need? and side panel is off so things that we're gonna need we are gonna need these bag of screws this bag of screws we're gonna screw down the motherboard don't want to keep that open. Yo, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. You know, we uh, we had a little little hiccup at first with this build, um, but after that, it was it was fine. I mean, we got we got things worked out. But I am excited to build this for my for my buddy over here, and uh, yeah, he's excited. He can't wait. Just to be clear, it wasn't the build itself. It was stuff to do with shipping of our yeah, product. Yeah, shipping. Okay, so first of all, uh, we have a lot of uh, cables here. So we are going to have to shove all this in the back. So, yeah, 
honestly, you do have a lot of space. See, all the fans are connected to this one power, so that's not. I'm not worried about that. That'll be quick and easy. It has a little bit of cable management, but like not a lot. But you know, it is what like a fifty dollar chassis from Amazon. So, but we are gonna just uh, make it work. Make it work. So, one thing I'm gonna have to do is. I don't know. I mean, I could just. Yeah, let's just put it all in the back. This is going to have to go in the back anyway. Don't worry. So we're just going to put these, shove this in the back until we need it. Yo, that cake looks fire. I, I'm not going to lie. I do like how the case turned out. It, it it does look pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I love the front case on like how it looks. Um, it is RGB, so that's going to even look better. Um, one, okay. I was like, please God, don't tell me you guys leave this one off. It's going to be another freaking earthquake going on, right? <laughs> but yeah, the case the, the case is pretty awesome. Um, I love how it looks and everything. I'm just trying to get all these freaking cables so we can just get them all out of the way. So we can just get this PC build going on here. Yo, how's our... Uh, I'm using a MS, uh, MSI GTX 1650 Gaming X, 4GB on Intel Core i5-7600K. That's a nice little setup, man. That is definitely a nice little setup. Yeah, this is uh, the MSI GTX 1650 Super Edition um, and everything. But yeah, that's a pretty good setup. This is almost like pretty equivalent to what you have here. Is a it's a good mid-range gaming PC, and I'm pretty sure you are probably happy with that. So once we got all this, uh, where did I put that uh, that tie? That's the only thing I'm looking for. I put that tie somewhere. Where did that tie go? Help me, guys. Oh, no, it blends in with the oh, there we go. Blends okay. in with the camera. Man, I can't really read. Man, I like to reveal, but uh, no zombies. Oh, oh yeah, the reveal of a uh, Cold War. The, I mean, I thought the reveal was still pretty awesome. I, I, I still loved it. Okay, we got all the cables in the back. We just right here. We're just gonna put them in the power supply hub, so it blocks it off. And now what we're going to do is flip this baby around. So, Hells, did you um, did you build your PC or did you buy it pre-built? I mean, it sounds like from what you have, um, it sounds like you, you built it. But yeah, let, let us know, man. Let me know in the chat if you built it or not. Okay, so next thing we're going to do, we're going to bring the camera over here. You get to see up close and personal. So... On any case, too, y'all can see we can get more light in here. Oh, yeah, baby. That is, oop. Okay, so on most of the cases, you have points, okay? These points are going to put your motherboard, it's going to lay down. So right now, this is actually for a micro board. So we're going to have to do, we're going to have to put another one right here, here, and uh, down here. So we can lay it flat on and we can put it in. Um, lucky for us, we don't have to put the IO shield in because the motherboard has the built in IO shield. So, what we're going to need is this bag of screws to put down more things. And also comes with tons of screws. We're going to need these as well. We 
have one, two, and three. These little tiny brackets. Okay. All right. So what I like to do first is get your motherboard. And uh, we're gonna kind of just line it up, kind of basically, and see where it needs to go. So, what we're gonna do is make sure the motherboard fits. With no interference. With no interference, right? cables are getting in the way. Okay. Yeah, it looks like almost the fans are getting in the way. Yeah, we can easy fix. You know, we're gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and take these uh this fan off. We can always put it back on later after it is all off. Work what you got, right? Work what we got. I have to might move the the cables up again. So usually the the cables are in like in the back already. Okay, so fan is gone. We are just gonna. Flip it over. You see, it's already it's already installed into the thing right there. So I'm going to hang it too loose. Yeah, kind of go like that. My main thing is just cables on the side right here. But this is going to get in the way. We might have to pull out everything up there, but we don't know yet. See, much better, yeah. Okay, so right off the bat, you wanna make sure you line these pins up. So as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. This is what's going to hold your motherboard in place. Okay, so we're going to put another one right here, here, and here to give it more support and hold it up. I always like to do that to make sure which one I have. So, with that in, we're going to install these little brackets and then uh, move it on. So, these are just literally almost like thumb screws you just want to put them in yeah it's a little dark here have to be light 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 so the first question guys what is the first game he's gonna install on his PC. What do you think? I already know what it is. I already know what it is. Yeah. 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 Exactly. It's gonna be Roblox. <laughs> Roblox, man. There's no other better game than Roblox. It's gonna be Roblox. 
All right, this is getting a little tight, um, but it's not all the way flush. So we might need to get a little. Maybe this photo won't work. Yeah, might need to get a little clamp so we can flush it in. So it won't go raise up. I just see I could set a few wood. Man. Yeah, we, we might need to get um, just maybe a little fire. Hold on, bro. I'm going to set this. I mean, I can literally just use this. Because all we need to do is just. Kind of turn it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Your phone's over uh, in your bedroom. This is one step that I uh, I always like to do off stream it's very time consuming uh what happened to the other pc oh bro nothing happened to my pc this is gonna be my boy's uh john's pc i know it's like john i'm a john his name is john we're all john's but this is gonna be his pc so make sure y'all uh, stick around because uh you know me i stream every monday wednesday friday we play apex zombies anything and everything um but yeah, no, he's going to be joining us sometimes if we, if we stream. We're going to be gaming together. So uh, make sure you all stick around and check that out because he'll be playing with us. This process is a little tedious. I mean, if you had a if you had a micro one, it would have right in it, no problem. Uh, almost. Almost looks like a fat spear right under your elbow. Yeah. Yeah, but it to go right here. That. Yo, Richard, what's up? What's up? Yo, I just got my new desk. Nice, nice. New build for who? Well, you know, he's a he's a little camera shy. I don't know if he'll show his face. Um, but just imagine how I look. All the sexier. What he said. Just a little bit more sexier. What kind of desk did you get, man? I need to get a bigger desk. I'm, my desk is like literally almost running out of space. Okay. All right. So we got these four brackets in, um, or the three extra brackets. So we're going to do, let's go ahead and put the motherboard in and start screwing it down. Cause you know me, I screw things down. Oh, bro. Like you're like blinding me right there. Okay, so we're going to line it up perfectly right there, just like that, and we're going to grab all these screws, and like, oh, John, what are you doing with all these screws? You don't need all these screws. Exactly. You don't need all these screws. What you want to do is make sure you get the right screws, because you don't want to get the wrong screws, and uh, then it'll be screwed. You get it? Don't get the wrong screw, though, you'll be screwed. Yo, does this PC have uh, have 8 or 16 gigs of RAM? It, it has two 8 gigs of RAM. So it's 8, 8. So it has 16 gigs of RAM at 3,600 megahertz. So it's really fast um, RAM. 
nowadays for the, for PC builds, I wouldn't go anything less than 16 gigs. Um, if you're going eight gigs, if you have only eight gigs, like two, uh, four, two, four, I would upgrade. Uh, because like, even like Modern Warfare, if you're playing Warzone, it uh, it requires a lot of a lot of gigs. Um, normal desk at the top of the wood. The I can't see too far away. Legs metal. Legs black. Black and white. Top white. He's only gonna play on PC, or does he have a PS4? Yeah, I'm strict keyboard and mouse. I don't. Yeah, he's he's gonna be playing on PC only. So I don't dabble with the console really. Um, yeah. So I, I don't know. I mean. Maybe when a uh, Cold War comes out, because I think Cold War will be uh, cross platform. Yeah. So John's just separating all the screws. No, you can't really tell. Sorry about my countertops. It's that black and white right. granite. But it's he like is separating. Invisible. I know he is separating out screws. You're like, what is he doing? <laughs> back to the build already I know okay simple you know what this is where you need magnetic screws if you don't have a magnetic screwdriver while building PC it's fine it's this part is gonna be really tedious and everything like that um, ooh, don't know what that says um, they say Cold War is gonna be cross-platform in every mode oh yeah no no, no. It, it is definitely gonna be I think every even in zombies, he says. Yeah, every single COD game now, I guarantee you, would be cross-platform. Every single one. And like I said before, always go crisscross pattern. I know it started on the mother, the top, the middle, but uh, yeah, so always go cross. Um, which I think is good. More people and players are gonna be playing in the mode. Oh yeah, absolutely, bro. I I think it's gonna. I think every game should be cross cross platform. No matter what. Yeah, you, you don't need the light anymore. We can just toss this over here. We need a little break. All I'm do, all I'm doing right now, guys, is just literally putting screws. I'm screwing things in. Nothing fancy or anything. I just like to screw things in. Nice. And tight. What is that? German torque specs? Right. Good and tight? Good and tight. <laughs> this is dad joke for the day. So, the question is, guys, do y'all want to hear what happened with this PC build? I mean, not right now, but like when we were getting in the parts and everything. Does, does John want to explain what happened? I, I think it's kind of funny. I mean, it sucks, uh, but but it is a little a little funny. I mean, it just don't get me wrong. I wish this would never happen to anyone. Right. But um, so jump in on my boy here. Shout out to John M forty four. Appreciate the build, man. Uh, when we ordered the parts, this is the original Ryzen three. Uh, as you could tell, for those who might have tuned in sooner. He's already dropped in the cooler along with the processor chip. This is literally how 
I got the box shipped to me in the shipping box. Um, the cooler itself, as you could tell, we still got one in the case and looking at the motherboard, there's already one installed. I don't know who, not trying to blame anyone, whether it was UPS or someone at Newegg. I really don't see why someone at Newegg would mutilate one of their own packages and take my processor, but essentially that's what happened. Um, took out a bunch of the boxes or everything out of the boxes, the shipping boxes, and contacted John last night and basically told him the build was going to be off because uh, we didn't have a processor. Yeah. Um, he started jumping on the phone, tweeting, contacting Newegg, contacting UPS, uh, got me uh, all sorted out with the refund. Uh, we jumped on Best Buy, Target, Wi-Fi, trying to, you know, figure out what we could do. Thankfully, we found the same processor for the same price at Best Buy. So uh, just John beelined it over there, put the order in, grabbed that, and... As you can tell, the build's still underway, so shout out to him, and no disrespect to whoever, you know, whoever took it obviously needed it, so it's kind of where we're at. <laughs> oh, can't make the stuff up, man. He, he thought I was joking when I called him, and he's like, really? You couldn't wait to get into your processor and, like, you know, because I lined it all up. You guys probably seen the thumbnail pick. Everything was looking nice and tight, and... Except for the processor, yeah. Like I said, you know, people are just in dire needs. COVID shortage, probably had a hard time getting it. I don't know. I am. Don't know. Literally. I am. I don't know. You can include that one too. So, y'all want to hear something I just did wrong? Is, uh, so we have this extra fan that we had to remove, okay? Which is like, oh, cool, you know, we had to move it, fine, no problem. Um, what I forgot to do is put it back through after we got the motherboard laying down. <laughs> so, eventually, it's kind of like just freelancing right now. <laughs> And uh, that's why we just undo that screw. Undo that one screw and then see. I'm, I'm seeing if I can get this. Uh, just undo that one screw and then see the screw that. I'm seeing if I can try and get this right here. Bro, you got it. I have faith in you. It's literally like. That's what I'm saying. Undo yeah. that one screw in the corner. So, guys, don't think like, oh, I know everything. I don't. Okay. Well, I mean, my stories distract people. My stories distract people. Absolutely. Okay, easy fix, guys. I mean, he wanted to put, we're going to install it up here so we don't have more clearance and everything and all that. So, which is fine. I mean, if he wants to put it here, you want to put it right here or up top? Uh, preferably at the back, but clearance, if that's going to be an issue, as long as it's sucking air out, it really doesn't matter. I mean, it, it's going to be like that. Yeah, if it'll clear, let's keep it at the back. I mean, it, it is about like a centimeter. So we are going to uh, take all this out again. So you can't just undo that one screw. Undo the two top screws up here. And then just feed the cable through like you were trying to do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I need to move the, uh, the fan needs to come in. It needs to go in from the motherboard. Which we want to just undo this screw. So don't worry guys. You'll probably be like, oh yeah, rip. Big rips. Like big rip screws, dude. It's all. Mistakes happen. I'm just you know, I'm just glad I caught that before uh <laughs> before we like Start going and like, you know what? Getting the graphics card in. Something does not add up here. Um, what happened? Oh, yeah, I forgot to put the fan back in. Oops. My bad. Yeah, we'll have that on me at once. Don't worry, guys. 
I'm a professional. Just shows anyone can build a PC. Exactly. Anyone who is smarter than me, which is a lot of people, I mean a lot of people, can uh, can build a PC. I mean, before this, guys, I, I knew nothing, nothing about PCs. Come on. Now, now it won't come out. Are you kidding me? I'm going to have to take the whole board out. Intermission. Yo, it's like 12 o'clock for me right now. Like, 12 o'clock at night? Dang, bro. You must be far away. What time zone is that? Where are you from? That has to be on the other side of the world. Yeah. I mean, it's four o'clock here. Yeah, I don't know what time is that. New York is three hours ahead. Europe somewhere? Yeah, it must be. You must be in Europe. If I can actually get this one to freaking come off, that would be amazing. Yo, it's six. Yeah, I mean, it's six o'clock for you because you're in. I don't know, I forgot where you are. East Coast? No, he's in like Puerto Rico or Dominican Republic. Wow. Bro, I can't get these out. Seriously, I can't get it out. Yeah, Dominican Republic, yeah. Hold on, I'm getting a drink, guys. Super thirsty. Oh. You hear me? Yeah, it's spinning on the board. Yeah. Um, where the cars? Right here. Okay, let me hit that. So I gotta hold it to just be spinning back here. Hold on. Should I go? Oops. Hold on. Hold on. It's spinning back here. Hold on. There you
Those are the two words you don't want to hear when you're building a PC. Come on. I've never seen it so hard to remove. Sticking through. Right. And come in here. Come this way. Look right here. Ready? Hold on. No, push, no. This is already off. That's what I'm saying. I need to speed through. Push this up and over. You got to fold it on your end, you know what I'm saying? So fold that flat. And then push on this little stretch. Yeah, but we gotta get a fan. Yeah, no, but watch. If we can get the top. No, what I'm saying is feed it through there. Like that. And then just mm -hmm. do put this. it back and then plug back in that way. And just reroute. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just tuck the cord up here again. Yeah, rather than, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Problem solved with this. So, what we're going to do first, so we have more. We're going to, we got to route this. So, we are going to. So this sucker right up in here. Uh, I don't know which way this was facing. Um, let's see, this should be all intake, so it should go. This should go this that way. way. Take. All right, problem solved. We're good. Let's screw this in. So it's. We won't forget about it, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's screw these in. Which are right here. Where's my handy dandy? Handy dandy screwdriver! Okay. See, problem solved. Literally the first time I saw a fan that was like interfering with it, you know? That snug. Yeah. I mean, it is a pretty beefy heat sink right there. I mean, that is a beefy heat sink. And a really nice IO shield. Could be the additional space with the Wi Fi. Yeah, very, very much. Yeah, I, I always usually have a, and this is also the first time I saw it where like a, the front panels cables are in the front. Usually they're automatically wired in the back. But like I said, every case is new. Every case is different. And, uh, Sometimes you just gotta adapt. And that, that's what's so much fun about building PCs is, um, especially new PCs that you've never done before, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. All uh, right, you said, uh, I'm gonna buy a, what, I'm gonna buy a fix. Oh, RTX 2060 soon? Nice. If you're gonna buy a 2060, uh, an RTX one, buy the KO edition. Buy the RTX 2060 KO. That one right there, I've heard really, really good things about. And it's a uh, it's really nice RTX 2060. And that's you're gonna go with like a 2060 Super. But uh, if, if you're just gonna go with the regular 2060, go with the tw uh, 2060 KO. That will be. That would I, I would recommend getting that.
the 2060 KO. Hold on one second, guys. I'll read that in just one second. Let's see what that says. Dr. Zombie Killer said. Don't know if you can say it, but how many dollars you need to have a decent PC build? Um, how many dollars do you need to have a decent PC? Pretty much that's what he's asking. So, I always tell people this. You know, how much money are you looking to spend for a decent PC, like a mid-range PC build? Let alone what your needs are, what you're doing. Yeah, it really all depends if you're, you know, if you are an editor, do you edit, do you stream, um, or do you just play casually um, and stuff like that. So it really all depends on what you do, but I would have to say anywhere between. Um, you could get away with a 550 build. Five to eight hundred dollars. So this one was eight sixty after everything. And of course it also depends, you know, where your currency is. Also, sometimes you find parts on it at a discount. Uh, but this one was about just under eight seventy after shipping taxes and everything. With but that the, also included headphones. Yeah, there was a hundred dollar headphones in there as well. You know, if you have headphones on it. Most of y'all pretty much have headphones already, but um, so really, seven fifty for well, seven sixty. Yeah, I think so. At least for this specific build. Yeah. And even then, what I'm going to be doing, this is kind of overkill. Yeah, this is like honestly, I could have uh, built this one. I mean, he wanted more and more stuff towards it that you know I, I think I originally had him like at what like 600, yeah, 600, 600 around like 600 for a PC build which is pretty good yeah, I know. have a Maverick Pro it's a drone um, so you know I deal with a little bit of that not a lot of editing and I don't okay yeah we won't get into all that but that's it's not just gaming that I'm doing all right this. motherboard is installed after a long complicated mess up by me apologize but motherboard's installed now what we're gonna do is uh take a 20 minute break no i'm kidding there's the motherboard as you can tell all right next thing we're gonna do guys put in the power supply put in this bad boy right here this is the thermal take 500 watt power supply Y80 plus um, I do have the 600 watts on mine. I know there's some of people out there like oh these things blow up and blah 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 It's no good. I'm like I haven't had a problem. I know a lot of people that haven't had a problem and quite frankly Sometimes people just get dead stuff And I can't even open this right now because I'm incapable of doing anything right now where is the thing um i will the okay yeah yeah the 2060 verter xt yeah so just to let you know we're not doing any extension cables on it or anything like that because uh he didn't really care about all that so it is going to have ketchup and mustard cables um, you know, that's all your preference. If you like ketchup and mustard on your PC, then, uh, <laughs> go for it. Uh, me personally, I, I, I don't. So I took mine off and I put extension cables in. Um, but like I said, does it affect performance of the PC and does it help the PC? No. It's all aesthetics. All aesthetics. So if you don't really care about aesthetics, my yeah. personal preference, I like it. Doesn't yeah. Bother me. Why not? It's a power supply. It's gonna do what power supply do, and that is power the supply. 
crappy drill bit there. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do first, we're going to take this bad boy. We're going to kind of flip it all on our side. Oh, like if so. Okay. Now, this does have a filter on the bottom, as you can tell. If it has a filter, you want to make sure you put your fan on the power supply facing down. Okay. Not up, down. That's why you have the filter right here. That's why you use it. So we're going to be installing it from here. So pretty much what we're going to do, undo this, and get the four screws, screw it in, and then your power supply is plugged in. Easy peasy, simple, no problem. Ketchup and mustard all day, every day. I know, right? It's, it's gonna blow your mind. Okay, works perfect. Okay, now we need to get four screws out of there. And by this time, when you're at this point, guys, if you're putting in your power supply and you're right here, guess what? You are literally almost done. Because all we got to do left, plug in the cables, install your graphic card. That's it. That is it, boys. Come on, Chris. Yeah, I know. That one fell. It's right there. The other counter doesn't help either. Yeah. I mean, it, it's a nice counter. Not for black screws. Not for black screws. Or anything black or white. Okay. We go over here and check the bedroom. I'm surprised they're actually getting along. Because my daughter is a boss. I tell her, and I'm like, you better be a CEO one day. You better, or I'm going to be disappointed. All right. Same technique, guys. Always cross your screws never go one two three four always cross it just helps even pressure off of the whole build and everything like that guys also if you're brand new to the channel do me a favor hit the subscribe button we're going for 180 subscribers. Um, I think we're at like 176 or something like that. I'm not sure, but it helps the channel, help it grow out and everything. If you like what you see and all that. I do stream, uh, play Apex and Call of Duty on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and occasionally I do some PC building. So I, I love this as a hobby and it's been fun. I enjoy it and everything like that. So. If you all like this, want to see more, let me know, and I will try my best to get people to buy PC so I can build it. <laughs> and then for that future Roblox stuff. Right? For that future Roblox. So when Chris gets up and running. That's what, that's what we're going to be playing, Roblox. Every day. All day. <laughs> Roblox. Roblox for life. <laughs> the RTX 2060 has been reduced to 280. Euros, 280 euros, that's about like what, 300 or something? Wow. Yeah. I'm not sure how much that equivalents to uh, US money, but. Oh my gosh. How much you said? 280 euros. 280 euros. Sorry, I'm going to get a drink over here. Uh, 
according to Google at today's standard right now as of the 29th, uh, 280 euros is equal to $333.38. $330? Okay. $333. $333 in US currency. 330 for 2060. Probably a KO edition. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. All right. We got the power supply in right here. We got the motherboard in. We got everything. Now it's going to be the fun time. And we actually have to have connect all these crazy things. Don't forget the. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I, I got you, bro. I didn't want the fan. I got you. you off, my man. That's all. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do it. We're going to try and do some cable management too, right here. So, uh, it doesn't all look all clustered and everything and crazy and all that. So, and I forgot to bring my zip ties in. Do you have zip ties? Yeah. Okay. You want to catch up some mustard or some relish? Um, you know, I have green ones, bro. You can have green ones? I do. So, on this power supply, you have tons of SATA cables. These are all SATA cables, which you really don't need like one or two. But, yeah, we won't need all this. What we need is these two in your power supply shop. So, it's on the liquid. Match it up. <laughs> Match it up. <laughs> <Got some. laughs> Relish in there. Re really show up the ketchup and mustard cables. Okay, um, I'm gonna do this right here. Please, please, please watch right here. Okay, no, you're good. Okay, so cable management, you really want to try and tighten things up a little bit. So what are you gonna do too? On each of the power supplies, they mostly have a clip, right? I know you can't see, but they're gonna have a clip right here. And you really kinda of wanna just uh, make sure the clip is first facing the right direction. And that is, you want to have it like this. And pretty much you just push it in. until you click it in. Like so. Oh, hold on. That was weird. Generator. Screw it all the way. Got my thumb. I got fat thumbs, so I just literally put that in there. Alright. Well, power supply is in. I'm just gonna kind of hide this a little bit. Okay. All right. Next, what we're gonna do is to get the GPU and the CPU. See what kind of what we have here. We have a uh, eight pin, and we have an eight pin. So we're gonna take this bad boy right here. Power your CPU. We're kind of just gonna want to hide it, hide it nice and well. So we're just gonna take it right here, flip it, and just connect, and then just like so. No, honestly, it doesn't. Okay. Next thing, right here. This is. The one that I like to have extensions, um, but that is just me. So I'm just gonna put this right here because it has two of them, and I really don't like how two of them look. But it's just me. Come on, bro, go through. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna save this for later because that is for 
the GPU, which we'll get to in just a little bit. Okay. All right. Next, what we're going to do is go through all your front panel connectors. So you have all these bunch of cables in the back, which comes into your your motherboard and everything already. And you're like, oh my god, there's a whole bunch of cables. Don't worry about it. It's literally plug and play. Um, pretty simple. Also, if you have a motherboard, and um, this is where your mother, motherboard handles and blah 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 blah. Your um, manual, your motherboard manual. That is when it comes in handy, which is right here, which we'll probably look at in just a little bit until we identify. Um, on what HD, what like where everything goes. See, just like this. Usually has a picture of everything. You just want to glance over it. Make sure you have it up and ready to know where everything goes. Okay, this is your USB 3, okay? This is going to power all your USB cables on your front panel. This is going to go into only one spot. And can you guess where it goes? I'll give you one guess goes into your USB port. <laughs> USB to USB. That is some kind of magic. Okay. So, what we're going to do. Hmm. What should be done? I wish I could show them. That should be the USB 3. Yeah, front panel right there. Boom. Okay, so I'm going to try and uh, I'm gonna just do this right here. Because mine's like right up here on this side. So it's a lot easier. There's the HD audio. I've seen it one like that. You might have to just go like this. I'm sure this one's fixed. Uh, how much memory does you said you have? We have about like two and a half terabytes. So we have a uh, 500 M.2 and a uh, two terabyte um, hard drive. Panel right there. Which I don't understand. I mean, it's right there. It just doesn't fit. You see what I mean? Well, this one doesn't fit either. So I don't know. It's literally right in front of my eyes that I can't even see because I'm blocking all the light. It's literally right there. Yeah, it's literally right here. Boom. Just like so. I'm blinded. I'm literally like this looking for it <laughs> and the shadow is blocking it. I'm like, I can't see it. I can't see it. Well, dummy, it's right in front of your eyes. That's why. You can't see it. 
Okay, next what we have, we have our USB and our HD audio. So, if you're ever wondering where this HD audio goes, I'll give you one guess. Where it says HD audio. I have light. Let there be light. HD audio installed. Okay, next USB. Copy strike. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Okay. USB. All right. The USB. Where are you? How much for what? Oh, donation. Yeah, guys, if you ever want to donate and see me do dumb stuff, links in the description below. No, I'm kidding. Never do that. All right. Let me get this. You come here. All you do is check. Just check, check. <laughs> Copy strike. Boom, boom, boom. Is that in? I can't tell if they're seen or not. Some of these are young bloods. Don't know what they're doing. No, don't do that. Where does the USB go? Oh, the USB one right there. Oh, you were. That is installed. Yippee doo. All we have left is this right here, which is your LED, your power switch, your reset switch. And uh, yeah, so the fan is right here. I'll show you. Um, kind of. So it's all connected by one and everything. And you know what we forgot to do? Oh, 
the hard drive. Board around. I wonder if it has any brackets. This is gonna be easy. It's literally just two thumb screws on the bottom holding it. Pull it out, screw it in. That's what you're done. Power supply shroud. I mean your thumb drive. Hard drive. Hard drive. Okay. What we're gonna do slide it in like a scampi and uh, screw it down with some magical screwing. So if you want, you wanna go ahead and screw these down. Take it out while you finish your puzzle. Yeah. All you do is just put it down. Yeah, six, right? Yeah. Yeah. Three. Just goes like that. So he's gonna go ahead and do that while um, I'll finish up with everything else. Um, we'll plug in the fans and, and all that after we will do all all that goody good stuff. So. This is the one part that sometimes I forget what to do because it's the most fun and the most, uh, not difficult, but like if your PC doesn't turn on 99% of the time, it's these cables right here. And what should I do on this one? What's that? What should I do on this one? That? Cross pattern. Cross pattern screwing. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, gotta find the motherboard thing. Man, there's like a frog in here or something. I heard it. Every motherboard's different. Just real quick so we can
You may want to mention too, there's two different kinds of thread types. See how it's flat? And then one isn't. Yeah. And there's actually different thread patterns on them. Okay. All right. Um, so here is the uh, hard drive. So all we're really going to do is put this back in. Put it back in. Okay, uh, dun, 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 dun. screw this back in so we can move it on. Get two thumb screws. Everything just shatters. <laughs> like glass. It just catches fire. <laughs> Not in my house. <laughs> this is the double speaking. Okay. That is in. Now we just need to get grab the set of, set of cables. Which one is right here? Go play on the Wii. The Wii? In the backyard. Here. Something we'll do right there. I'll go play Roblox or something. Alice. Batter on your friends on Roblox. Go play downstairs. Yeah, we're almost done, girls. Okay. Here's your SATA cable. All we're going to do connect. One in. Right there. And this one is going to be routed. Where? I got to find where the static cable connection is. Static cable, static cable, right there. So, trying to. Maneuver my way around all this cables and clustered right here. Perfect. So, all we're going to do is flip this around. It's plugged in. There. Now, we just need to give it to do is give it power, and we'll do that towards the end. Okay. All we got left is the front panel connectors, which I don't really remember what order they go. <laughs> so if you want to help me with this, we need the front panel connectors, like the power reset and all that. Like I said, everything's different for every motherboard. Gotta find out like it'll tell you which one to go like right here. Front panel header. It'll tell you right here. This is what we're doing right here, I think. That is what we're doing. So All these right here. I'm going to tear the so. Oh, here. This circuit's are. Not a pick, is it? 
Is there really a pick? Yeah, it could be used as one. I'm not going to use the sticker. It's a pick, man. Oh, it is a pick. Pick uh, AF. So you got the power LED. Yeah. Is that the one we're currently which one are you grabbing right now? So okay. I would start. We get it from the from the top. I would probably go bottom left. No, like it goes. From oh yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Bottom left, one to two. No, it goes one to two. No, this is what I'm saying. So we go one first. Yeah, two. we won't have this. But yeah, I know. I'm saying I'm telling you one. So bottom left. No, no, we top left. We start with top left. So power what LED. Uh, yep. On the first two pins there. Hold on. I got a. Uh, positive will be your pin closest to you. Okay. Sorry about the brightness, guys. I just needed some light. Okay. Uh, power LED. Uh, positive is closest pin to you and closest pin to the wall. these man it's so tiny and then negative uh negative so it's the second one right next to it yeah and then power, power switch. switch same thing positive should be closest to negative yeah these are all just uh These are connected together, so. Okay. Then next. You want to keep going on that top row? Or you want to go below? What, what is? So there's a gap. You skip two. And then it goes to speaker. Uh, speak and... So speak. We plus. don't have that. We just have okay. the then, LED reset and HD. Oh, that's HD hard drive or hard drive activity LED. Yeah. So that will go right under your power LED. Can I see? So see right there under the power LED. We don't have speakers. So HD. And go there. HD LED, so that'll go right under. Right under there. That's what I was saying. We should have done the bottom first. If you guys probably tuning in, you're like, what the heck is he doing? He's got it. He got it. Positive. positive closest to the wall yeah. so yeah. closest to you these are always facing down no that's not one that is almost done yeah i got tiny little hands there we go. And right next to that is the reset switch. Uh, flip it though. Yeah, it's always negative, close to negative. When you're side. dealing with this, um, top can go in like this because it's plus minus. But when you go in bottom, flip the lettering down. Now look at You see how it's negative by negative? So it's saying positives on the right. Okay, so like this. Uh, what does it show on the thing? It doesn't. So I would just assume. Keep it the same way. It's weird that usually 
Um, on the other motherboards I've done, there's like a strictly like a five pin thing right there. It's not like all this, you know. This is the most like tedious part right here. Oh, but so satisfying when it's done. Oh my god, I have tiny, tiny hands. Oh no, don't, don't, don't do not come out of me. You do not come out of here. Whew. Bro, where was that? Where was that before? We needed that. Yeah. Come on. I can't reach this. My hands are too fat. You want to try? Where's the other one? Uh, chassis. The what? The chassis. There's no chassis. Header. Did it good? We don't have that. No. Power oh. LEDs. Always oh, this LED run. Three pin. Two. Oh, we need to just run it. Positive, negative, negative. So we skip two block. Skip four. No, three block. Let me see. That's what I'm saying. It's usually so two, three should be this bottom line. One, two, three. And then there's positive, negative. So it should just go. Is that one's a four. see we shall see and if we know if something doesn't turn on if it doesn't turn on then we know it's uh right there right there, right there. It, most of the time has to do with that it's most fragile part of the thing okay this is the time Right. Here is the baby that we're going to be installing. It is the MSI GTX 1650 Super of the Gaming X. It is actually a little bit better than my. I mean, I, I, I have a 1650 Super as well, uh, but this one's just a little bit better. So, technically. You gotta get a little bit better. Yeah, just because you have better doesn't mean it's gonna make me any better of a kid. Bro, there's no GPU in here. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, you get. Random. I, I, I thought it was like, oh, something nice in here. It's just like, a, right? Black envelope. Like it looks all official. It's like MSI. No, a little comic in there. That's about it. So this is 
what we've been waiting for. Thank you, blows. Ooh. So. Smells fresh. Mm, I just want to hold on. Fresh. Okay. Here it is the beautiful Beastie 1650 Super Gaming X Edition. Um, it's a nice card. It does have the ten, two twin frozen dragons on it. Y'all can tell. I can, if I can get a little bit closer. It is a nice card. It is very beautiful and uh, very sexy. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and pop all these things out. Um, one thing, too, um, just to let you know, um, they only comes with one HDMI. I don't know if you're going to go dual monitor or anything like that. But you'll just need to get a uh, splitter. not a splitter. You can get a uh, display port. It's a 1.4 to HDMI. You can get it on Amazon for like 10, 15 bucks. You have one HDMI, and these are display ports. So, just let you know. Okay, so. Well, I didn't know if you were going to go one monitor or two monitors. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is... Uh, what about the people that want to run three monitors? Then you get three. There's four spots. You technically, you can have four up to four monitors. It's all for your viewer. So you have one HDMI and three display ports. Most of the time, these display ports are 1.4. You can pick them up on Amazon or um, for a 1.4 to HDMI. Yeah, but so technically you can run up to four monitors on this collector's card. Okay, first thing we need to do, get the screwdriver, because we got to take off the back plates. So te 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 technically, if you line it up correctly, I'm not going to put it in, but you always want to take off the second and third one. Because that's where it matches. I mean, just look at that. Look at that. It's going to be nice. The graphic card has the same design as mine. It's, it's a nice, really, really nice one. Wait, does this one literally just... No, I think these just literally pop off. Yeah, I think these just pop off. Like they did it this way here. No. Well, I mean, I, see, it, it doesn't matter. There's some cases, some chassis that, uh, have like individual screws. You see what I mean? That's only control of this. These are actually inside. So you actually have to pop these off. You see what I mean? Like this. Mm -hmm. These. So once you do that, there's no going back. Once you go back, there's no going back. Here's one way. Bro, this. <laughs> Not the greatest example, but um, as far as being able to push the other way. Yeah, yeah. Out. No. no, no. I I'm telling you, this heat sink was just like massively cute. I mean, there's a couple of setbacks on the design for this tower, but nothing. 
No. And like I said, we can just plug that one back in. So, once you move the second and third bracket, you can literally just go ahead and put things back together. And then we're going to install the CPU. The GPU, sorry. And do you have a uh, tension cable? You have, you have an outlet right there, right? Yeah. So we can run it, so we can test it. We are almost there, guys. Um, is it three prong? Yeah. Go ahead and do this one right here. One, two, three. Beautiful. Okay, I'm not gonna do this without him uh, because this is, you know, this is what you come to see. Uh, you come to see the most important part of the build. That's either A, the CPU, or B, the graphics card. And in this case, the graphics card is what we came here for so without further ado john would you like to install your graphics card yeah for sure it works okay i dub you the others so it's the same thing kind of like ram just kind of line it up like a scuppy Almost like RAM. You want to make sure it sits perfect and just push it in. And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, doctor. There, it is in. Oh, let go. It's going to sag. That's why we need screws. Let's go ahead and get about one good one. Let's see if it has like a good thread on it. Something like that. And screw me, please. That computer looks really nice. Thread, Not gonna lie, it is thread check. Thin or coarse? Coarse. Um, it, it is coming along real nice. I put it down just a little bit. Right there. Good. Boom. It is looking nice. I, I can't wait to power this thing on and see if it goes. How many more you need? Two? What? How many more screws? Yeah. No, 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 just one. Just one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. This could even go with this one. No, no, it, it, this is fine. It's not sagging at all. I know this one's gonna be a little janky, but um, yeah, they want to put this all the way around again. Just need to do this, but you know what? I'm really surprised. Anyways, um, so we're going to plug it in and uh, plug in the last few cables. So all we have is a six point. So we need to get the six point right here. I mean, this is why I like cable extensions. Uh, where is that black zip? There we go. Uh, one of two. 
all I want to do is mm, 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 bang, bang, bang. We're just going to go right here. Oh, yeah. Like so. We're going to zip tie this. No, we're not. We're going to try this again. What's that? Oh. Okay, not not the best cutters. Oh. <laughs> All right, I knew that. Okay, I, I knew that. Don't don't judge me. Okay. Um. Okay. We have two more things to do, and then uh, we're gonna give it power on, and we're gonna see if it turns on. Okay. So we turn around in the back. Two things we got to do here. Um, we'll do cable management after all this, but uh, what we first need to do is uh, power up the, uh, whatchamacallit, the hard drive. So, this is why I got a lot of cables. All I have to do, grab a SATA cable and literally just and then plug away. Oh, come on. And I plug it in or like so. Your SATA cable is connected. Okay, all that is connected. Next thing we need to do is, so we don't have two SATA, so this, we're gonna go ahead and uh, zip that this together. Like I said, you really wanna try and get all the cables out. Make it nice and clean and everything. Don't want little cables. Well, that just that sucker just flew. Like I'm out of here. And this is where it does come in handy to have a uh, a basement because you can just hide stuff pretty darn well. All right, this right here is the thing that took me 12 hours to figure out on my PC which I was like, what the heck is going on in here? This. Done. You don't, I, so it took me 12 hours to was like, oh, here's a CPU fan. Let me put it in here. And nope. Nope. That's it. They're already plugged in. You just needed to and give it power and with that you're giving it power so in hindsight you don't need to worry about that because it's already done we'll worry about all that later. yeah we'll worry about cable management later um yeah moment of truth moment of truth so the only thing i'm kind of it's the panels, which we might have to YouTube it if it doesn't turn on, but um, yeah. Excited to see it. Y'all guys ready? Boom. Yeah. 
All right, guys. Here is the PC right here. Multi LED RGB. Here's the full comparison. Here's a front shot of it. I believe we can go. Yeah. Let's get close. So I think we can. Um, Might have to program drivers for it. Yeah, probably. So when we ordered it, it did say it does the multicolor and then standard colors, but probably have to update the drives for it to recognize single solids. So all we have left to do is one thing, and that I'm going to let my good friend John do it because this is his PC and everything, so he gets to do it. And y'all know what that is, and I think he does too. So just mad shout out to my boy John M44 putting the build together, especially on the first time rig. Oh man, the skin is looking sexy. Can't wait to get everything going on it. Where'd you put the screws for it? It's all right there. That looks really cool, bro. It does look really cool. Oh, and it's and you can't tell, but this thing is super quiet. I can't even, like, if I wasn't here right now, I wouldn't even be able to tell it was on. So I'm just going to barely thread. Yeah. You, you, can, you don't need screws. Here, you don't need screws. You just use them. Because we're going to take it off in a quick second. Yeah, you don't need to tighten it up or anything. Oh, okay. Come from the top with me. Come on. All right. No, no, it's all yours. It's all, it's all, yours. all yours, man. Oh, bro. This is all you. Guys, if y'all haven't already, make sure to hit the like button on the video. It really, really helps the channel and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this thing is pure sex. Oh, excuse me. I don't know about your content. My bad for those who. But yeah, right. this, I couldn't be happier. Right here, guys. Again, shout out to John. Things look solid right now. Let's get that logo with the logo down below. Get the MSI too. Woo! Dang, it's a face! Thank you, John. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Um, I know I, I only do these uh, PC builds every once in a while. Um, so if y'all do want to see more PC videos of building, um, make sure you subscribe. Comment below on what kind of system you have uh, and what kind of system you want and want to get or any upgrades or anything like that. Um, I'm really liking how this turned out and everything. Um, we got a few cable management to do, but um, honestly, it's really not that bad of cable management that we got to do. We, we got to fix the back a little bit, uh, but that's it. So thanks for everyone for coming out. If you do want to help support the channel, pick up one of these shirts, the John M441 shirts. You can pick that up in the link down below in the description. Um, like always, guys, thank you all for coming in. Thank you, John, John, for uh, letting me build his PC. Um, I had a blast. It was super fun. Um, I, I can't wait. We're going to be gaming together, and we're going to be up all night until he has to go to work at, you know, 6 o'clock in the morning and be like, crap, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. What do I do? Game on. One more round. One more round. <laughs> Guys, till then, um, I'll see you all on Monday. We're going to be doing some uh, about Apex or Zombies. But till then, guys. Have a good weekend. Stay nice. Stay healthy. I'll see you.